Hey bunnies, Buffles here. I just wanted to show off my new cosplay that I'm planning on debuting at KogaraCon next month. You guys should definitely come if you're in the New Brunswick area. I am planning on also staffing, so I'm going to be helping out here and there. I'm really excited. We have a whole group of Love Live girls, so we're going to be doing some photo shoots together. Um, and I'm going to be wearing my Honoko Kosaka cosplay. And this brings me to my topic for today's video. As you can see, I am in my new cosplay, but I did not make everything for this cosplay. So, I am going to be talking about closet cosplay today. So, most of you guys know what cosplay is. Cosplay is when you take clothes and you dress up as a fictional character from either a video game, a movie, an anime, comic book, pretty much whatever you want to like, you know, dress up as, that, that's cosplay. Closet cosplay is when you get most of your costume from clothes that you already own. What I like doing is I like taking clothes and then I modify them a little bit to make them more like the character. So for my shirt, it was originally just like a blue shirt. And then I put the design on it. I put the hiragana. And also for my wristband, I put um, this little design on it so it's more like Honoka's. I just wanted to let you guys know about Closet Cosplay. And also, please like don't be ashamed to buy your costume, don't be ashamed to commission it because I know there's like a stigma against buying your cosplay or you know getting help from it. It's just like do whatever you want to do. If you want to like get clothes, modify them. If you want to like buy a cosplay from Taobao or Amazon or eBay or whatever website, please, please don't let the naysayers stop you because cosplay is for fun. However you want to cosplay, just do you and just go for it. The only thing that I'll say is that if you're going to enter your costume in a contest, make sure that you made it yourself or if they're okay with closet cosplay, just let the judges know that, you know, I didn't make this or if you did make little parts of it, just be like, yeah, I made this, this, and this and these are the things that um, I ordered online. These are the things that I commissioned. Also, if you specifically did commission it, you should have your commissioner's approval before you enter their costume in a costume contest. Because most costume contests, they will give the award to the person who actually made the costume. So sometimes they'll require you to have the other person present. But anyways, other than um, the cosplay contests or like cosplay masquerades, don't be ashamed at all to like have a closet cosplay, have a commission, have something you got off of Taobao, which, which is like, the, it's pretty much like eBay in China and you have to get like a proxy to order from there. I'm not going to go too much into Taobao, but it's like another website where you can get a bunch of cosplay stuff and it's like directly from China. So it, it, it's pretty good if, if you want to get like, I know they have a lot of love live costumes. If you want to get like pre-made costumes, definitely go for it. Don't let anything stop you from cosplaying what you want to cosplay. It's like what I usually do is if I can make something myself then I'm like I'm gonna go for it. If I if you know I don't have as much time as I would like or I know I could do it for cheaper if I already have the clothes and I just modify them a bit I just do that. I mean people aren't gonna give you a hard time and if they do then they're not very nice because we all just want to dress up like you know, the characters that we love, so don't let anything stop you. You want to make your stuff? That's fantastic. You want to commission it? Great. You know, you want to do closet cosplay, modify some of the things? Fantastic. You, you don't want to modify anything? You think what you have is perfect for that character? Just go for it. It's like closet cosplay, regular cosplay. It's all cosplay. Like, whether you make it, whether you don't make it, you know, it's all for fun. Just as long as you don't lie about what you made and what you bought, then it's all good. And please, please don't let people discourage you because I've seen 
a lot of people that are like, oh, you didn't make that, so you're not like a real cosplayer. Like, please don't take that to heart. You can be a cosplayer and you can have all of your stuff commissioned. As long as you give credit where credit is due, like, if you commissioned it, just give credit to your commissioner. You know, when you make, like, an album on Facebook, there you go. Fantastic. You wear it at a con and, and a fan from the series is like, oh my god, I love your costume. Like, did you make it? Then you tell them either you did make it, you commissioned it, you know, you bought it off of eBay or whatever. Just, just be honest and don't let anyone ruin your fun. Cosplay is all about fun. It's like, come on guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you have any future suggestions for videos, please let me know. You can comment below. You can message me on one of my various social media accounts. I just wanted to make today's video talk a little bit about closet cosplay, you know, and I just wanted to show off my Honoka because I'm going to be debuting her at KogarCon, or you guys should definitely come. <laughs> but yeah, um, cosplay, it's all for fun. Cosplay is for you. Make cosplay like whatever you want it to be. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, then fantastic. Just. Have fun guys, and I will talk to you all again soon. I'm sorry that I'm just like a little bit scatterbrained here and there. So this is like more of a vlog type of video, vlog slash, you know, showing off my cosplay or whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please let me know if you have any suggestions. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see some of you guys at Zenkai Con this weekend if you're going. Alright, bye bye!